Hi everybody, it's Ryan from RyViews.com, and today it's time to review Cyber Chaser Counterthrust by Silen Games. This is actually a, a bit of a remake or a reskinning of the original Cyber Chaser, which I have played before, but I never did a review of. I think it's probably too old for that, so I figured I'd review this one. It's an awesome game. Um, if you've never played the first one before, this is a fantastic game to play. Um, but if you have, it's going to be pretty much the same thing. I think they added some new skins, it's a new difficulty. Uh, but it is a really cool running game where you're just going along, collecting a bunch of stuff and upgrading. Uh, you have lots of nice double jumps and, and slams and you get different weapons and you can do different starting weapons. And It's actually a pretty solid running game. Okay, um, I find it pretty fun. You know, there's lots of pickups, lots of obstacles to, to avoid. Um, you know, in general, as far as running games go, it's pretty, it's easy to understand and has good controls. You can alternate between mouse and keyboard. And as I said before, good pickups uh, and good quests too. Um, so not a whole lot else to it. It is a upgrading running game that I very much enjoy. Uh, and it's high quality. I don't quite know yet what is different about this version. I have, I've only played this about half an hour. Um, so I guess we'll see if I can find out while I'm doing this video. Uh, but otherwise, it is still a robust game. And you could still play the old one and have uh, quite a good time too. But I don't really see why. You might as well just play the new one. It's almost certainly at least prettier. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Watching this guy in a red suit run a lot and get some keys. Although I missed that one. And ducking under stuff and jumping over stuff and blowing shit up and eventually getting killed like that, which I kind of forced to do, but I want to get that damn key. So pick up keys to open chests. Usually the higher level chests are more worthwhile. Oh, revive. That's exciting. Did not expect that. I forgot that was a thing. Oh my god, I made it to the boss. It's some big, you know, well, not a spidery thing. He only has four legs. Some kind of half spidery thing. Oh my god. Well, that didn't last very long. Two keys. That's exciting too. I like when you get extra keys. So there's also nice quests, as I mentioned. So collect two keys during a stage. I just did that. Stomp five enemies. I don't stomp very often. Perform 15 double jumps. Collect two power-ups. I believe there's a total of 99 quests. Yes, that's pretty fun. It makes the game good and replayable. And lots of good unlocks and upgrades. You can see here, you can upgrade your starting weapon, upgrade the weapons that drop, and upgrade your passive abilities, coin magnet, weapon damage, various things like that. And you can select stages where there's little mini games like this one, which is Hunt. And I'm trying to destroy all enemies and reward enemies drop more gems. So you do all these little side missions and then suddenly you get to unlock some special stuff. And I think I enjoy the style of this game enough that it's very much worthwhile just playing through and collecting all the quests. Even though I played this, you know, a year or two ago, it's a very fun running game and I would highly recommend it. So thanks for watching, everybody. Visit www.riveviews.com for more content and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.